what's going on guys so back with the 2009 silverado and today we're going to be installing a remote start kit so this is the start x remote start for the gmc sierra and silverado 2007 to 13. it's about 190 dollars uh, on amazon i'll leave a link in the description where you can get it but let's go ahead and install it it's supposed to be plug and play so let's see all right let's whip out the old handy cam mount for this new phone and see what it can do all right so let's come here and open it up and see what we get oh you know what i don't have my keys or a knife on me all right use the key so as you can see i have the lock and unlock button i do not have the fourth button and i also have the alarm but i don't have the fourth button which is the remote start and that's what this is supposed to eliminate so here's the plug and play harness, the communication module. Oh, that's cool. They give you a nice removal tool. Um, these are always great to keep in your truck. Let's see. Warning, this vehicle is equipped with remote start. Attached, just label under the hood for legal purposes. Oops. Drop everything. Let me and drop all the stuff. So we've got this module box right here. Wind is whipping. Got some zip ties, probably those. We've got a little bit of. And this is the T harness. So let's go ahead and we'll. Uh, so you still retain OBD2 connectivity. You just swap it out for this. So we're going to need a few tools. Um, but let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is get some tools. I'm going to go ahead and remove this because I'm going to have to come under here and remove this OBD2 and it just slides in on mine. I believe. Yeah, mine's just slid in there. So we'll actually remove this whole bottom panel, which is Phillips head and then pull it off. Then we've got to remove this, which looks to be Phillips head probably, um, or a Torx bit. So let me go get some tools okay, really so quick. So step number one, we're gonna remove the tilt column lever by just pulling really hard. Just like that, pops right out. Okay, the next thing is we've gotta use the pry tool to separate the column. So let's see if I can video this for y'all. So mine doesn't have the screws. Um, I don't know if they were removed prior or what, but mine are not there. So no help at figuring out what you need there. Go ahead and move y'all really quick to this side. Separate the two pieces, drop the bottom, pop the top up. Go ahead and get the Phillips head next. All right, got a Phillips head. Now we can come under here, set this camera up for you. All right, so I've got one here and one over there. So I'm gonna remove this one first. We could remove the parking brake, but I don't think that's going to be necessary to remove that lever. that no point putting that one back in since it's almost gone all right now I'll just take all right there <clears throat> and 
and I do have probably a seven millimeter on the parking brake thing. Okay, it's actually a 10 millimeter right under here. Remove that. What are you doing, son? Okay, so once we have this 10 millimeter here out, so this 10 millimeters out, this piece drops down. Now to get the OBD2 poured out, there's a, let's see, seven millimeters right down here on this side of it. Okay, so the first thing I did was connect the, the new OBD2 port and screw that in. Then I just tuck this pigtail up and then I'm gonna run this harness up through here up to the steering column. Next, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and connect the box to the harness provided really quick. That way I can get this in place so I can zip tie it up. Okay, so one wire connects right on the side right here. You plug into this harness and then the jumper piece plugs right into there. Then this one goes right here. I'm gonna get that one off and then uh, show y'all. Okay, so now that I've gotten this one out, which is a little tricky to pop out, now I can connect this jumper piece up in there. And this one to this one. All right, now that they're connected, we have power on our box. Okay, so before I zip tie all this up so it's red, so I need to grab my key, turn the ignition to on, then I'll crank it. Should blink and go green. Green, and then after three seconds, go off. It's programmed. Go ahead and see if it works. So, one, two, three. Holy cow, it worked. That is awesome. Okay, so literally it was that simple. OBD2, two harnesses that needed to be spliced into with the T connector. Well, not spliced. I'm sorry, this is a T harness, so plug and play, not spliced. Uh, I'm just saying splice because I went, I, I jumped it, you know. There's just a jumper is all this is. One box. Make sure you got factory working key fob. I can start it normal. I can turn it off. Go ahead and close the door. One, two, three. Give it a second. There it goes. Remote starts. And I can come in here, unlock it because I locked it. Come in here and take off. And if I hit the brake while the key is turned on, it doesn't turn off. But I can turn the key off with my foot on the brake and it turns right off. Awesome. I'm very happy with this. All right, guys, and just like that, it's all said and done. It got dark on me, but I was able to get it knocked out. It literally took about 15 minutes of actual work. I did do some research beforehand just to make sure I had all the proper tools to make this video. But all I gotta do now is one, two, And it does take a second for it to start up, but you know, if I'm inside, it's winter and I wanna crank it up and let it warm up, have my heater ready to go, that's all I gotta do. And to stop it, like I said, if you don't wanna put the key in, obviously it's gonna lock the truck. What you can do is just press the brake. It'll kill the truck as soon as you press the brake. So now I can lock it and it's good to go. Um, as far as the harness goes, well made, easy to adapt. Literally OBD2 um, to control box, 
And then, so two wires to the control box, two wires to your ignition and your igniter. Well, one to each, and then one jumper to the OD2, and we're good to go. Can't get no easier than that, guys. I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this product. And if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know.